Duke in the soccer movie. Um, the one, what was that new movie I saw? Um, that I'm blanking on the name of the movie. A soccer movie? Hold on, I, I'm looking it up. They make those? I'm funny. What? Okay. Shannon Tatum, the Step Up guy himself. He was in the Step Up movie. He was the star of the first Step Up movie. The, the the janitor, that was him. What janitor? I thought that there was oh like a God. janitor or something who like started dancing or some shit. No no no. Step Up was he was. Some guy who lived in the quote unquote the ghetto, and he was a, a foster kid, and he was hanging out with the black people, and he was getting in trouble, and then he became a janitor because he broke into the school, and he started hanging around the white people, and he became a better person. He could dance, and it was bullshit. I heard the third step up was pretty good. The dancing was Looking probably good. the best. Out of oh, she's the man. He None of those goddamn step up movies are good. No, the dancing the third step move up movie was good. The story was bullshit. Yeah, the story is always bullshit. I mean, and those fucking movies. Okay, I'm gonna watch this new Betty White thing. Why are we gonna? Well, I like Betty White. Like, I just like, suddenly I feel like, oh my god, she's the newest thing. She's been on for fucking ages. No, I'm no, but no, she just has a new show but coming out. Shannon Tatum tomorrow on Haywire. It's not even that good. I mean, do you even know what I'm talking about? It hasn't premiered yet. What, hot? And, no, I thought you were talking about hot in Cleveland. No, I'm talking about off, off their rocker. Uh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> hey, Obi Wan Kenobi. I literally was about to say, hey, it's Spider-Man. I thought that was Tobey Maguire. Oh, oh my God, God Julian. 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 Oh, I'm talking yourself right now, please. Uh, I have the same and birthday as Tobey Maguire, so I share the same birthday as Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, bitches. As, not as Spider-Man, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. I don't give a shit. Shut up. Shut up. Let me have this, Julian. Starring Let Seth me have Logan, this. A nominee, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. The story of friendship I'm and survival I'm is known as a two-world war. This is 50-50. Okay, my chicken nuggets are ready. I'll be right back. You know, don't like a baby during this movie. Game, the oh my god. I can't believe didn't get a nomination. I, I, I cried so, 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 so hard like during this movie. You can't change your situation. The only thing that you can change is how you choose to deal with it. I haven't cried that hard over a movie. Hello? Hello? I don't like you know, really think like the girl's gonna enough. go for me just because I have cancer. For the millionth time, yes! Great song. Totally. I know, I I have he deserves it. He made a really nice. He deserves a, a nomination for Hesher. That was brilliant. Have you seen Hesher? You, you need to watch this. Have, have, have you seen Hesher? Oh. And Nicole Kidman. Let's see that. Fine, I'll make a deal with you right now. I'll watch Hesher, you watch 50 50. Deal. No, you need to watch Super. Great films. Oh, I'll watch Super later. No, watch Super and first. And with an abundance of wonderful Midnight in Paris. These I've seen it. Best. Oh. <laughs> Here are the nominees for Best Screenplay. As of March? No. Oh, this is how I'm going to win. Paris. No. Artist. No. This, I thought it was a silent film. The artist. He still has a screenplay. For the still have a screenplay. Let's go, Midnight in Paris. For the descendants, Alexander Payne, oh. Nat Faxon, Jim Rash. Okay, that, those were like Stan four Turbin, big screenplay by Steve Zellion, Aaron Sorkin. Yeah, the artist. Yay! And the Golden Globe goes to. Oh. Who won? Woody Allen, Midnight Impact. Who, who won? Midnight Impact. Yes! Oh, fuck yeah! Well, Woody could not be here tonight. Woody couldn't so, be there um, because he's a pedophile. He wants to say thank you to the Hollywood ah. Fine Press. Is that it? Oh. Come and get it, Woody. Woody Allen is She was a hey, goddamn and He married. He married his daughter. Yeah, you think? You think that started when she turned 18? 
stepdaughter, you These fucking sicko. <laughs> <stunning> work, <laughs> like, I don't think that any <laughs> better. Don't adopt somebody you didn't marry. I'm sorry. True, but hey, look, after making Midnight in Paris, a movie that just moved me to my core, I don't care. Just let me have this. Midnight in Paris moved me to my core as much as any of his movies do. So look, after Midnight in Paris, he can do whatever the fuck he wants as long as he keeps making movies like that. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. TV movie. Just now go, ca American yeah. All right, so fuck off. Go, Kelly McDonald. Kelly McDonald. I'm going for Kelly McDonald. Sophia Vergara, Martin Fanley, Becky, Evan, Rachel, Wood, Mildred Pierce, Maggie Smith, Downton Abbey, Masterpiece, Oh wait, just go, oh, just go, awesome. Jessica Lange, American Horror Story. By the way, she's just one for American Horror Story. I'm too scared to watch. Cause you're a pussy. Is it actually scary? Okay, look, it can get scary, but again, it's like my guilty pleasure, too. It's like True Blood. It's my guilty pleasure, though. I just, there's nothing wrong with True Blood? There, look, I, I fought that at first, but then there was plenty that came wrong with it. But I still love it, Egg Mask Ray. I still love it, so you can't hate me, because I still love it. Anyway. But, uh, there, it, you know, there are some actual genuine scary moments on American Horror Story. To me, at least. Oh, well, oh, this is lovely. Thank you very much. Um, Better than every horror movie that's being released right now. Tucker and Dale was pretty good. And, uh, I, ha I still haven't it. seen it. That's, that's uh, more uh, comedy than hard. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. But it did something brilliant. Would, um, that was that was like a to thank the great movie. group of actors that I had the pleasure. Uh, of I, I do plan on seeing it. I might tomorrow group. since I don't have school. Um, <laughs> but more than anything, <laughs> I want to thank the uh, I can see her bra. because I find it more and more Whoa. rare or rarer uh, every right, year. Look, just because I didn't want that bad for her age. To find a piece of work that is really beautiful. Looks pretty written, damn good, but uh, and gives I will you admit. something to do, and it certainly was this. You wouldn't so say I'd no, like Darren. The writers, uh, I'd like they to do. Thank they do. Brad uh, and Ryan. You know, Dal was so up when it comes to these TV shows. This, uh, None of you I say no to that. It's wonderful. No, no I, and you know, um, I thought yeah. just the line. That's it. I don't know. Wouldn't that be awkward if she like broke her hip or something? Now, now when it's Mason and Felicity Hoffman, they're married, right? Yes, they are married. Still married. The director and co-writer of the film. Well, I, I said they're married. So that would mean they're still married. The Golden Globes on NBC. Oh, yeah. The iPhone 4S has an all-new camera with eight megapixels and advanced. Hello. Hello. No, I was. I was checking to see if I got on the show. On but you make thing. really bad tea. <laughs> what? God damn it, Red Rose is terrible tea. I've never had a tea. Okay, listen. We're, uh, tea can't go bad, but Red Rose is. Toy Hunters. What is Toy Hunters? Wait. Wait, did they just have a tea advertising on your yeah. TV? Yeah. It's <laughs> awesome. Well, it's Canada. Yeah, I guess well, uh, they do that here too, except it's always just Nest Tea. Or not oh, no, Nest no. Tea, it's it's like, an actual brand of like tea, tea bag. <laughs> tea bag! Uh, oh, wow. Uh, 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 fuck, I had a tea bag joke and then I forgot. This looks lame. What? No, I'm a granola bar commercial. Your granola bar commercial is probably a lot better than what we're watching. Uh, inspired by... God damn, I I'll saw... It was a like commercial. It's John Krasinski's career just pooping. Hey, dude, that guy got in the movie with Meryl Streep, Steve Martin, and Alec Baldwin. I'm pretty sure he's got a good career. Yeah, but that's a, that's a poop from his career. That movie looks stupid. I liked it. I liked it. It's complicated, actually. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking oh. about... Uh, oh, well, oh, fucking Family Whale movie. Yeah, I love yeah. that. That looks terrible. Do you want to watch Toy Hunters? Oh, what's going to happen? 
One of my friends in, fil in our film classes actually told me he loved Sucker Punch a lot. <sighs> Makes me sad. No, I made me sound like he loved fuck? Sucker Punch. How can I like that piece of shit? I don't say it. it. I don't. You know oh who loves God. Sucker Punch? Um, don't give me some of that piece of shit. Do you like Sucker Punch? Oh, hell no. Who? I'd rather take a real sucker punch than like that movie. Yo, I heard that a cruise. Ah, that's so ironic that there's an advertisement for a cruise when the news was saying there was a, like a serious I'd incident. A, I'd rather have Megan bite my penis off of her teeth than uh, watch Sucker Punch. Haven't you had that done already? Uh, she just bites gently. Thank you for giving us those details. I didn't go deeply, so you don't know what she does. Mm -hmm. We have to go deeper. Deeper? Oh, she, uh, oh, oh, that's deeper? Right. she goes deeper on you, man? Yeah. I, I'm gonna be a gentleman. Don't you, uh, are you bringing Megan to uh, SpillCon? I asked her, and she's actually thinking about it. Because then I'll come, if she comes. <laughs> no! Because <laughs> you know you'll lose her to him. No, I wouldn't I'm do that. I'm going to keep her far away from Brennan. Brennan? Um, Why are you going to keep her far away from Brennan? Brennan's got uh, a yeah, girlfriend. I was joking. Shit. I'm going to keep her far, far away from Rubio now. Rubio's got a girlfriend. What's Rubio going to do? Dude, goddamn! I don't want him. You better worry about Nick Hodges. That's what you need to worry about. Nick Hodges, Nick Hodges, Nick Hodges, Nick Hodges, Rob's a great No, he doesn't. Skyler's of age. Dude, okay. Dude, if I bring my girlfriend around, John Rue was like, okay, we need a talk. Oh, Skyler, Skyler will hurt the girl if you know that happens. I'll give you some clues. She's always vogue. The way she's Skyler a material and Megan girl. are so similar is just like eerie. I swear to God, they look. Please welcome Madonna. You sure they want like uh, switched at birth? I'm trying. Oh my God, yeah. I was like, hey, uh, hey Megan. So I, so hey, hey honey, I got my friend Skyler, who's a, who's almost, if who's I'm like an exact clone of you, just except like for the hair. Ricky? Then why don't She's you that over short? Do something about it. They are like almost the same height. I would say like what I, I would think. I haven't kissed a girl in a few years. Uh, or, uh, yeah, or or an inch or two taller. Uh, they both uh are women. They uh both love animals. Love music a lot. Uh, wear glasses. Okay. Have, Moving right along. Have, have um, you know, cute little laughs. I grew up watching movies. Like and, okay, I could room. go on and on how. But I was like, God that, damn, this movies that I, allowed my I, imagination What the fuck is going on in this world? That made me believe Are you just trying to tell us that you want to fuck Tyler? No, I'm not doing that. Made by Dude, I, the likes of Fellini. Shit, you obviously Tom haven't heard I saw heard how you looked at her on the um, video feed doing Spill. Masquerade. Okay, are you talking about the nipple prank? No, I no, not the different prank. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all missed like, that, didn't you? <laughs> the flower. No, I got sick of a flower war for wait, this. Wait, 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 Julie, did you not? Did you not? Oh wait, did you not know about that? The nipple prank me and Skyler did. The kid with the bike. What? Nipple. Okay, okay. Here's here's what's going on. You remember? You remember? You remember? All right. Basically, you were there. Opening party at the Scoot Inn. The skin I live in. With the terrible fucking battle raps going on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, me and Skylar and Nick and a few hours were in front and of the left camp. Corey was soup? outside, so we were just in front of the left camp on the live feed thinking, eh, I know, no, and everyone was asking Skylar to show her tits. So I, pour, so I pull her to the side, oh, far away from the camera, and said, okay, how we, I, I got an idea of a prank. Okay. You tell him, you actually act really convincing, so I'm going to show you guys my tips. Oscar, and then right last second, I... I jump in, I jump in front with my shirt off and show them my nipple. Oh, I, I think I remember that. Yeah, and we did it, and, uh, and Masquerade was in there. Masquerade was there, chair. Uh, Your nipple looked sexy, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was think, there. Uh, 
Michael Barker. What's the entire thing? Michael. And I believe Master Cradle is also watching you by uh, uh, amazing performance on Karaoke Apocalypse. Yes, I did. And you saw the, and you saw how sexy I am. Then I was coming up uh, on the stage. Ripping uh, my shirt. You know, I, I kind of regret doing the whole shirt ripping thing now because when we, because when I do karaoke uh, and goes again, people are gonna want to know what I'm gonna do next. Dude, if you get to go, get to go again and I don't get to go, I'm gonna go bitch to Corey. Dude, that, that, dude, they're trying to do the whole thing where they, it's a duet thing. So if I go on stage, you come with me, dude. I just. I don't know, man. I might have. My Three people. other arrangements. Like if Steve is there, I think we're gonna have to sing are, a song. Okay. Uh, hold on, guys. Hold on, bro. Oh, I'll be right back. To be continued. Oh. What the fuck? I, damn it, man. That's a Ladies and gentlemen, six-time Golden Globe winner. Dust it off. Dustin Hoffman. Is to be there. He's like, ah, fuck oh. yourself, dude. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm back, I'm back. I okay. just want to say that. Uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, love of my people wife, are going to want to know how I'm going to top ripping my shirt off and jumping off stage here, now. Uh, announcing the I, and I, I, I think I might have something. Like, uh, I might write something across my chest or something. The five women in the next category are incredibly talented actresses here. Are the nominees. I'm going to go the for Julianne Margulies. Who's who the fuck's nominated again? Claire Danes. Homeland. <laughs> I know, actress, TV, oh yeah, I'm going for uh, Ju Julianne Margulies for The Good Wife. Mireille Inglos, The Killing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I love The Good Wife. Juliana Margulies. She's great on The Good Wife. How the fuck Pally Form from Necessary Roughness is nominated, I don't My know. My Generation, Madeline Stowe, Revenge. <laughs> Yo, is Carlisle there? Kelly Thorne. No. Necessary rubbish. Oh, it was on the, uh, the, the, the Coco. No, who the fuck just won? Oh, Claire Dane. Okay, Claire Dane's won. I'm actually glad about it. I'm actually, I'm actually not upset. This is good. Oh, yeah, I'm actually not upset. This is good. This is where I want to wear an evening dress, too. This is the third win and third nomination um, for Claire Danes. She previously won for the eighth movie, Temple Grandin. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to... You know, like, again, uh, how, again, people are going to want to know, hey, we're going to do a karaoke apocalypse this year. Uh, take my pants off? I don't know. I might take my pants off, yeah. Um, Who's all for that? Okay, so I first won this award when uh, I was 15. I might, my I, might life, I might write something across was, my chest uh, and then rest my shirt off in my performance. One is. And the first thing I did when, I, when I left the stage was burst into tears spill. because I realized I had what? forgotten to thank my parents. I'll shave the spill and, logo um, into my chest. I brought my mom with me tonight, no. Carla. And as your friend, I'm not. I am just so lucky to have another oh, opportunity to back. let them know no. how, how no, deeply he, grateful I am for their love back. and encouragement and, and oh, yeah, any fulfillment I have as a person right? named yeah, Dario, five bucks. in large part to you, you so thank Sam? you. Um, thank you I to my husband, I, what I, my, what, my, what my, what my I new my family, uh, uh, campaign to you, get money. Although, if I do bring Megan, although Megan does actually come, I'm not sure, I'm like, okay. Thank you. Uh, How the fuck do I get away with this? Was Michael still keeping my dignity and my woman. Uh, Gideon Raff, the, inv the innovators of this show, this brilliant show, for the writers for, for, for giving me this part that is so exquisite, so divine, uh, to show time to fun. What is that? Um, and to this cast, I, I could not be in finer, more brilliant, more generous, more kind company. Uh, thank you to my team. Yeah. Stephanie Ritz, Brian Sports from Michael Ashley, and Judy Gottlieb. The no, thank it's, you. Yeah, it's a huge, wanna, huge honor. Tablet. Thank you. All right. Here's a, all right. Fingers crossed. I might get on this one. Now. NBC's telecast of the 16th Are you calling in, Golden Jordan? Yeah. By I call Chrysler, in usually. I called in last year. Oh. And by oh. I did too. I got on last year. Make something I, I just complained Crap. about Ah. Uh. Who will win Best Actor in a television series? Oh, I'm watching an American Idol commercial. I'm sorry to hear that. Ernst and Young know the answer. We'll find out 
I couldn't tell who has more beautiful flowing hair. J Lo or Mick J. Or what's or the or what's his name? Steven Tyler? Yes. Because <laughs> they're both their hair is both like blowing both, in the wind beautifully. They're both women. Oh. oh what the fuck are we talking about? Steven Tyler, how she's American a Idol? woman. Oh, American Idol sucks. I, I disagree. Oh, God damn it. I did not want to get into this argument. Like, I don't like the show, but I don't think it sucks. I think that gives people very awesome careers. Uh, uh. Uh, I'm pretty sure one of the winner's career actually did last for like 15 minutes. They have a great Stella commercial at the movie theater sometimes. What? Like what? What for Stella the TV show? No, Stella Artois. Oh, 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 such a good beer. I haven't tried it. Really? Yes. You like it, Sam? Yes, I, think, I do. I, I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's amazing. Oh, Blue, it's, uh, I don't really just like beer. To drink it? The only beer yeah. I've, the only straight up beer I've had that I tasted that I thought was good enough for me to consume one after one is Blue Moon. <laughs> like, honestly, it's it's fucking good. I mean, Sam, yeah, I mean, Julian saw, yeah, Julian saw me knocking back a few. And, yeah, uh, Blue Moon for punks. I don't give a shit. Julian PBR. saw me. Julian saw me knocking back a few at uh, Austin Karaoke and a couple more at. Uh, Jordan, I do. Somebody Jordan, just gave you some I, old English. <laughs> Let Julian say what he was gonna say. Je voulais te parler en français, Monsieur Cobb. J'ai entendu que que tu parles français. Alors je voulais le savoir moi-même. Ah oui oui. Is he speaking German? French. French. I know that. Oh, God damn, sir. How stupid are you? Okay, now you call me stupid. I'm about to hang up on you. <laughs> so mean. You've changed since you went with the Austin. You have changed. Il est devenu un connard. S'il vous plaît, les avocats. He's fooling. Tant de miette. Yes, Steve. Julian, do you just realize by us speaking French, we just made Sam wet? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Sam, are you so wet from that? Dripping. <laughs> we can open a swimming pool between our legs. Or to quote Pam in the Archer commercials, we can like drown a kid in there. If we want it. Ah, damn it, Corey. Why are they introducing Catherine McPhee like she's never done anything before? Uh, the only thing I remember her from is like an episode of Community. She was what? in, um, she was in that, uh, the house bunny. I, what else has Catherine McPhee done? But it's not, this is not her first role. What? This is not the first role she's ever done. Does anyone? Oh yes, he was on Community. What else has she done? House Bunny. Okay, what Golden else besides Global that? Award. This is mad. This is not her first thing. The He's saying introduce Well, you know how our fucking a well, you know our fucking society with ADHD and ADD. Great me. This tale of a disastrous maid Someone of honor at her for best two friend's wedding is sudden, outrageously funny, person. heartfelt, yes. and warm. Paul Feed directs an ensemble of the most hilarious chicks ever oh. in the movie that finally, finally proves once and for all to Hollywood and to the world that women too can poop their pants. Uh, like everywhere. Like all over the Ah, bridesmaids should not win. I like that one. Oh even though I think she's hysterical. What, Kristen Wiig? What are we doing no, for the not her. The other party. one. Oh, 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 you mean uh, Clementine from uh, 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 fucking uh, Rena Rebel? Rena Rebel. I think she's really funny. Oh my gosh, she was the best actress. 
Melissa McCarthy was great, but uh, Melissa McCarthy was the best part of that movie. Yeah, I, I, she was good. She wasn't the best part. She was the best part of that movie. Uh, I think uh, Doctor from Reno 911. He was the best part. I'm sorry. I want to apologize. I'm not even confident on which end that came out. Of. It, come on, now. She was the funny part of that movie. It's Lynn. I love Jane Lynch. I'm not going to say if they want to make another Are they gonna kiss? movie and they want to have a woman, Jane Lynch. Are they going to kiss? That's a choice. Shut, God damn it, sir. Stop being a pervert. The common I'm just saying, they could kiss. Is they could make out. Really I, would, I wouldn't look away. Oh, wait, she, oh, wait example, Jane Lynch I'm and Tina Fey. Like okay, that's from... Oh, oh, yeah, let's make that happen. Oh, and shit. I don't yeah, let's do that. Look, it's Sasha Baron Cohen. And I am nothing like Luke Lemon. Like, yeah, bitch, he's good. He'll prove it. Oh, whatever. The nominees in our next category are also nothing like the How tall is Jane Lynch? She's 16. Although, of course, yeah. Matt LeBlanc is Matt LeBlanc. And well, how Thomas Jane Chelsea. really is. She's tall. A I, high I, school I, coach. She's got to be. Oh, oh, go Alex Baldwin. Baldwin. Yeah. Fuck oh, Alex Baldwin. He should not. Hey, motherfucker. Here are the nominees for Best Actor in a TV Series hey, Comedy. Hey, Alex Baldwin, Baldwin or David Duchovny for the win. David Duchovny, Californication. Did they just say Big Bang? Yeah, they did. <laughs> Why is that guy wearing that? Johnny Galecki, the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> right. Thomas, 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 Thomas Jane, you wear whatever the fuck you want. Jane. You're automatically an asshole when you wear a fedora. Hey, Bo wears a fedora. Yeah, and you can fucking talk. Everyone looks terrible one of those. I hate you. Jason Murphy wears a fedora, bitch. And the Golden Globe goes to... You're just proving Yeah, he's made it. He's finally made his comeback from Lost in Space. Thank God. Don't remind me of that no. terrible fucking movie. I loved that movie when I was a kid. I, I, I wasn't a kid, but I, 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 I initially thought it was cool. But as you think about it... Yeah, and I loved Wild Wild West as a kid. What the fuck does that tell you? Steve Will Smith is missing that movie. Yeah, you Will Smith is awesome. That's what it tells you. Hell yeah, it is, because that movie is very like... Oh, uh -huh, I have an almost French last name. I'm so cool. Uh, hi. Um, first of all, thanks to the Hollywood You're just jelling. He looks good uh, with graying hair. Oh. Thank you to Showtime. It's because he has gel. Without that gel, he would be thanks. nothing. Showtime, Matt Blank, David Nevins, Gary Levine. You guys have been really super supportive. I'm surprised thanks so much. this is done. How are you doing, thanks Joe? To, um, I'm, I'm a impressed. great cast. It's been an awesome... Awesome experience. Doesn't mean I uh, want you guys to do agents, it. Guys, managers. that's fucking all. Thanks to my mom, who's always been there behind me 100%. Yeah. And most importantly, I think, thanks to... Um, so now Matt producers. LeBlanc will pawn yeah. that award for whatever he... Uh, Jeffrey Clarick and David Crane. Put it up Crane, his butt, because it's the only award he'll ever get. And I oh, come hold on. In the highest regard. Hey, all right. To be writers, fair, Sam, Sam, episode is actually, is actually pretty good. LeBlanc, is it really? It's not great, but it actually is a very interesting show. Oh, I really want a cup of tea. The commercial needs to come on. Just one more. Yes! Where's the silver linings playbook? Hi, I'm going to be the crow. No, you're not. No, you're not. You'd be awesome. You'd be so good. Each of the women in this category here has unforgettable performances that went far beyond the definition of the word supporting. I, I appreciate it. Here are the nominees that. for Best She's Supporting Actress win. in the Motion Picture. Oh, yeah. got, what, what, what is this? Oh, supporting actress in a comedy? No. Uh, Jessica Chastain, the help. Oh, I don't know. Oh, so, no, this Best Actress. No, that's the show. Janet McTeer, Albert no. Hobbs. Oh, what? Is that the... Oh, God. You think she's funny as a teenager. You don't deserve anything, you bitch. Wait, wait, whoa. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the descendants. Yeah! Chastain. Uh, the Golden Globe goes to. Oh, I tell you, did win. Please, please. I'll tell you, can they give it to the Millennium Men? Alright, thank you, Spencer. Chris Tucker, you're still alive. Please, cry. I noticed he was in the audience. I was like, where'd he come from? Chris Tucker, man! Chris Tucker, man! Oh, I'm all right. Surprise. Love Octavia Spencer, but I thought just the casting did a better job. Hi. But yeah, I, I'm glad. I love the help. Just the casting was. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, Octavia Spencer. I enjoyed it. I loved it. Although, 
I really didn't expect a shit joke in that movie. That wasn't a joke. <laughs> that was not a joke. Yeah. You go into a fucking movie, you see the trailers for the help, you see the poster, you don't expect someone to eat a pot made of shit in that movie. Yeah, okay, fine, but that wasn't a joke. This is, um... I'm sorry, was that not... Really? Uh... Uh, seriously? <laughs> Nuts. Um, thank you to the Hollywood Porn Press. <laughs> Seriously. Um, you know, with regard to um, domestics in this country now and then, I think Dr. King said it best. All labor that uplifts humanity has dignity and importance, and I thank you for um, recognizing that. Melissa McCarthy is just upset since this is one of worst she's never going to get. Um, Which, by the way, Brunson she Green totally did not Columbus, deserve that Nathan, Emmy for Mike and Molly. Stacey Snyder, Chip Sullivan, uh, Holly Barrio, everybody at DreamWorks, everybody. Um, uh, Rich Ross, Stephanie Cluft, um, Kevin Campbell, everybody at Disney. Uh, Ricky, oh my, I'm just trembling here. Oh my God, I'm going to fall. Hey, Nicole Kidman, okay. I'd still fuck you. Uh, Ricky Strauss and uh, Jonathan King, everyone at Participant, our amazing casting crew, my team at WME, Brian This Christian, is just here to go and glow. Their names are Ryan, like Ryan Christian, Brad Slater. Uh, my team what? at uh, Carl Austin, uh, uh, Viewpoint, LA, Melissa Case, Melissa Fonzino, Bria Schreiber, my family, and uh, the most amazing casting crew and Table 10. Thank you again. All right, here's hoping I get on there. Holy crap, that's a whole lot of star power right there. The celebration continues as Golden Globe royalty wow. Sydney Poitier and Helen Mirren present the Camilla Award for hey Morgan Freeman next. Hey, you know when when Morgan Freeman start talking, Tim Tebow will go down in his uh in his pose. Hello? Hello? You still there? Hello? Have I really been muted this whole time? I hope not. The hello? Somebody sitting there. So, uh, Steve, why don't you start talking? You sit there all quiet and stuff. Speak up. What tell you about that? Uh, busy, pl busy playing video Are you games. Spying on us or something? You just sitting there listening? Yeah, I'm listening like I'm listening to a podcast. What? What are you guys talking about? Steve, you don't say anything because he's spying on us. <sighs> You know, it's cool to read the Entertainment Weekly on my tablet. I'll be right back. Is that free? It's free if you have a subscription. If you if you get the magazine in the mail, then you can get it on your tablet. You're subscribed to Entertainment Weekly? It costs me $10 a year. Okay, but I could still think of a better way to spend $10. Skyrim. Well... Skyrim. I got an episode that Batman was on the cover. That is pretty cool. Tebow, he's running for his life. He's running for his life. Oh my! The last 
I hope this is over before Robot Chicken comes on. Do you actually watch Robot Chicken? Robot Chicken's awesome. Robot oh, Chicken God. is not as good this year as it was last year, but yeah, I watch Robot Chicken. When was it ever good? Oh, Robot Chicken has some great seasons. Last year was the best. When they was making fun of, um... Of, uh, I'm Leslie No, Cobra, and I approve this message. Command it with the with the roast and everything. The Golden Globes uh, continue. Yeah. From the upcoming film, this means war. Please welcome Reese Witherspoon. So, uh... The trustee of land in Hawaii on the brink of being sold finds his life turned upside down when his philandering wife falls into a coma. How he deals with this connects with his children and comes to closure is the focus of this masterfully directed film by nominated director and my friend Alexander Payne. Okay, guys, since we're here, we're talking. What are you saying? How, what, in what world does a woman cheat? On George Clooney for I'm Matthew Lillard. The understudy. This one's so old. I've been doing that well, actually. Nobody ever seems to notice that. Well, when he's not George Clooney in that world, my daughter's a character. Ew, it's so. Look at him. Who do you? I'm sorry. Uh, 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 every woman of every race of every ethnicity looks at George Clooney. I'm uh, not counting you, but everyone I've met of every race of every ethnicity of every gender. One look at George Clooney. Jordan would do George Clooney, wouldn't he, Jordan? He looks. Ladies and gentlemen, after we did the Batman, I doubt it. Oh man, they pulled out Sidney Poitier. Yeah. Way to overwhelm him. He was cool to be black before it was cool to be black. Oh. Like he's gonna cry like a baby. Who's older, him or Morgan Freeman? I, I don't know. See, you want to come fucked up? It's the same person. <laughs> Thank you. I forgot why I was here. <laughs> Freeman. He, he seems like he's about to fall asleep doing his speech. <laughs> that you infuse Why? the character. <laughs> They're gonna make my I mean, the art so much. Black actor before Morgan Freeman took my you place. You become the character. The character becomes you. Your audience. And so. This should be me getting this award. I was dating audience. white women before Morgan Freeman was Even dating white women. <laughs> of Spencer Tracy. Hey, you know what? It'd be true. Lawrence Olivier, Marlon Brando, and Canada Lee. I had a Grammy. I mean, I had an Would Oscar before Morgan Freeman had an Oscar. Your process. Were they I had a slap us. hole before Warren well, Freeman was even slap hole. In my holes. humble opinion, sir, you are indeed God, I a prince. I was the first person, in first black man on camera to smack a white man on camera. We thank you, Miss Freeman. It was Freeman, the best time of my life. For raising the level of Then shit went politically yeah. correct. Another notch. And now you don't see much of me nowadays, do you? Welcome aboard, Morgan Freeman. May your journey be long and your I guess look see how old he is. Too much. Congratulations. <laughs> you just noticed that? <laughs> Please welcome three time Golden Globe winner, Helen Mirren. Well, I'm really sorry, but what? after Sydney, I'm going to lower the tone somewhat. Ooh. Because I've had a couple of glasses of wine, and this may not seem like the appropriate time I, I to bring it up, but I do have they a bone want to pick up. her to play Dr. Oh, sorry. He's made she over wants to play Dr. films, and I've only Why? been one of them. Red. I mean, I was complaining about this to Sydney just now, and he said, Helen, join the club. At least you're in one of the films. <laughs> 
I mean, there was no reason Miss Daisy couldn't have been English. All you, all you would have had to do was drive on the wrong side of the road. Well, I mean, of course, in England, we think of it as the right side of the road. Well, it, it's not actually on the right side of the road. It's on the left side of the road, you know. You know what? Is right. Did rumor her playing Doctor Who? It'd be Glad great. Glad cleared that up. If, they, if she played Doctor Who. Really, yeah. Morgan? Just one movie? With you? For God's sake. Okay, he was born in 1927. So that would make him how old? 37. So let's have the pleasure of watching Mr. Freeman at My grandfather was born in seven, Sorry, 30. He would be 78 right now. Well, come on in. So, and three years to that. We so run, we they got us. Which side? He's 81. He's 81. He's 81. He's 81. I like how it's so movies. They show fast black and that. No. No. In his long and what? inspired career, Bastard, you stole my new points! Has illuminated oh, come on now, don't be showing this bullshit, Miss Daisy. Morning, Miss Daisy! Did you have the air condition check? I told you to have the air condition check. Yes, I got the air condition check. I don't know That's what for. Uh, money I don't know I'm to turn it on. on. I haven't seen this movie, it was really fucking good. What? People die every day, Frank. Surfer. If she dies yes. today, million dollar baby. Be. What about it? Yeah. I I it's it. okay. No, I'm not a baby. I don't care, though. It's freaking so sad at the end, though. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a comment page or a picture of, young, of me. Kid. It's gonna be a motivational picture. Oh it says, "Come on now." Every time I'm Harry says, "Slap," that's what I want to see. Tell him the way things are. It's gonna say every time Harry says, "If you." Watch this scene, okay. blank, blank, and you don't tear up, blank, blank. I have you no soul. In order and everybody around, like you to master like yourself. That. You ain't because to white really, dog. I have watched some stuff that made people tear up and cry and so fall out, out crying. Like, okay, I guess those the emotion is fast. Black. Well, Look at it. Living, but it sure as hell ain't I, I'm not crying. I, I don't, I, my tears aren't being jerked. I, I don't know what you guys will expect me to do. I, take I mean, people were shocked. I almost wanted to fight me because I didn't tear up during the This movie I haven't seen, but I already know it's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? I need to see this. I bet it's fucking amazing. Stay away from me now. Don't come in here. Unforgiven. Yes. John Doe has the upper hand. You still have a sensor rifle. I can still knock your eye out of those What these folks think? Cut up old. Guess they got it coming. Where? Well, ain't you gonna shoot? What about. I'm God. Here are the characters we've grown What about. Are you serious? I have to read the instructions first. Who are you? What about the first Batman? Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Batman begins. Who is the map? It is so familiar. This is the first you know, so one Batman. Like my yeah. love story, yeah. it begins with an act of utter foolishness. Belong <laughs> to a man of unique abilities. Say <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> A bucket list? Yeah. It's not that bad. He's lifted our spirits. This I heard was pretty baller. And opened our hearts. Forgiveness liberates the soul. That is why it is such a powerful weapon. Ever since I was a young boy. People love the sound of my voice. He was the best part of that Robin Hood movie. He was. Oh, God. Who he went way back for that one? They just shout Trump. I should take that company. Well, remember, I don't, I, I'm not watching it. I know, but I'm saying, we didn't just win up a random movie. Mm. Yay! He deserves to, they should just give him a chance at least. Fucking now we must go to the after party where our white women are awaiting us. <laughs> yeah, yo, good. You know, it's it's funny. Like, I, 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 one time there was a picture, right? There was a bunch of 
Thank you Black very much. male actors Thank at you. a party, right? Mm -hmm. And every Thank one you. of them was, was married to a, a, a white Thank woman. You it was. Thank it's you, like Helen. it was like a club. Like you couldn't go to this party I can't unless really you, you know. It, it was so funny to see this picture. How it feels to be up here, being touted by a woman I love so much. I know it sounds, Taylor. Uh, we are the distinguished black you know gentlemen of Hollywood. <clears throat> uh, working with you on Red was great fun. Really great fun. <laughs> But I learned one thing. <laughs> Watching you handle a gun makes me know I never want to piss you off. So, me was up, son of. I'm sitting. Mark, which one? Huh? Which one is it? Which neighbor? No, which Being dog? Up here receiving oh, this award. Chelsea. No, which tribute. dog? You have two. You yourself. Yeah, mine. Chelsea. Getting the it from one. you. Chelsea's yours? Yes, the white right. one's yours. Hey! hey. <laughs> that though they call the processor be the middle of in my house, hey, it can also be known as the signal fuck you anymore. Now I'm going to try and get all this said in a very short time. In my movie career, I got to save the world, solve some crimes, commit some crimes, drive Miss Daisy B. Nelson Mandela, play the President of the United States, and even God. Looking at all those clips from all those films that I made of all those years, struck by two things. I got to play with people that I really, really admire, and how much fun Uh, Moxie, we're gonna bring Moxie back. It's been said that if you do what you love, <laughs> what is your you'll never work a day in your life. Well, Moxie? That's the case, then for the past yes. 45 years or so, I've never had to this work. This is my obsession. Don't worry about it. Because my passion in life has always been acting. And that have been 58 men and women before me who received the DeMille Award. People like Gregory Peck, Clint Eastwood, Sophia Lauren, and your father, Mr. Poitier. So I am I'm glad we cleared it truly, up. They're not the same person. That you consider me worthy <laughs> of being in that company. My thanks to Fair all of you for your wonderful support. That was a lovely And my speech. deep thanks to the Hollywood Bar and Press for this award. Thank you so much. The party's still going strong. Yeah, you know, the Next funny up, part is, Helen Mirror was the only person on stage just now. Oh, wow, that's right. Because he's like, what? The Golden Globes on NBC. Helen Mirror? Yeah. She's in her 60s. She's, there's no way. She's got to be late 50s. Uh, I don't know. Let me, let me look. Does that think she's like 58 or something like that? I think he's in a 60s. Yeah, I'm for Helen Mirren playing Doctor Who. Uh, right. You know what? She was born in 45. How old is that maker? The the show? No, Helen Mirren. Oh, 45? Hold on, we're going to count each other. That makes it in her 60s. Yep, she's 60s. <laughs> you were right, I was wrong. My mother was born in 40. And she's in her 70s. John Carter. Is oh. that going to be any good? I hope so. It looks alright. I mean, I'm leaning more towards bad on that movie. I'm a John Carter fan. So I hope the movie turns out. Is that how he is super powerful in that movie? No, it's like... It's, it's, it's like... Tarzan and Flash Gordon combined. That sounds weird. Because <laughs> he's, he's flying and he's jumping with super strength. Is that how is it in the book? Or? No, he's it's like Conan, barbarian type stuff. Okay. He wasn't flying, he was on a rope just now. 
the way he was jumping I, as if he was on the wire or something uh, it's like Conan and Tarzan and, and Flash Gordon have you read the books? yeah I read, I read a couple of books. I read more of the comic book back in the day than the actual novels. Didn't Marvel do, do some of the... Well, back in the day? Yeah. Yeah, they had the rights to John Carter, and then they're, they're doing it now. They're doing yeah, all the that's, that's the tie to the movie. Is anybody watching this? Is what? anybody watching the stream? No, I, I didn't know there was a stream. Uh, Splinter's doing a stream. I know he's doing a stream. He wants to know if anybody's watching it. I can't watch the stream and, be, and you know, it messes it up. I can't watch his stream. What's going on? If I had, a, if I didn't have a TV, I Milking would. With an all -star tribute to I would be watching the stream. She wants and all the mute so we can watch the stream, which then we all be muted and then not hearing anything through the stream. Will Smart, what's not to like about Liz Lemon's new boyfriend on Thirty Rock? Thanks, like buddy. His voice goes up at the ends of sentences. Very masculine. James Marsden, Kelsey Grammer, Denise Richards, star on Thirty Rock. This room is moving. Thursday on NBC. No mute, so there isn't feedback when you watch the stream. The boys begins with these blind auditions. Our chairs are facing away from the stage, so we Did have the no bird idea what is going on behind us. When is the Angry Bird movie going to happen? Are these quiet footsteps? God, no. That was a song. The audience is all a hush. That was You're just waiting on pins and needles for what those no, that first wasn't angry bird. sound like. Most, most the moment, yeah, no, I, I, I play Angry Birds Rio. Welcome back to the Golden Globes, and now from Sherlock Holmes, oh, hello. Game of Shadows, two-time Golden Globe winner, Robert oh, Downey life. Jr. Chaplin, Lang, Hitchcock, Ford, Lubitsch, Wilder, Downey, Senior. Brilliant risk takers throughout the history of cinema. Okay, Our who's playing what? Is an incredible tribute to those pioneers. The story proves that as the world changes for better or worse, it is always love that triumphs. And an outstanding ensemble cast reminds us you can still feel so much, yet say so little. It is my pleasure to present the daring and euphoric Golden Globe nominated best film, motion picture, musical or comedy, The Artist. We're watching the Golden Globe. Yeah, we're watching the Golden Globe. Not over yet. No, because people have been winning and taking too much time with their speeches and stuff. It always is cute in and then, of course, when Peter Dinklage the won, they cut him short. Of course. Because they didn't have enough time, right? Angelina Jolie. What the hell? Good evening. Five wonderful. She don't need to be having lipstick that red, looking like a Skeletor. <laughs> For Midnight in Paris, Woody Allen. For the Eyes of March, George Clooney. <laughs> For the artist, Michelle Hazanovich. Really? This is best director. They give it to the yeah. artist. It's the artist takes everything. Alexander no, King. it's gonna get us first there, you. Nope. For Hugo, Martin Scorsese. He got his. <laughs> That's all. Oh! 
Oh, and the Golden Globe goes to... My bad. Martin Scorsese. Yeah. Hugo. That was the only real nomination on there. That being said, I have to be honest. The artist is very entertaining if you can sit through a silent film. I can. I love silent film. I thought that the first, like, half hour of Wally was some of the most brilliant filmmaking I've ever seen. I cannot stand Wally. Whoa! You Chat. have no soul. I'm disappointed. Oh, I'm sorry. I like. I, I no, thank you so much. Thank you. Nothing you, you say you would be. You have no soul. Thank you, Hollywood Foreign Press. This is soul. 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 absolutely wonderful. I, I um, and thank you I also, just... Hollywood Foreign Press, for the extraordinary work you do on preservation and restoration of cinema. Void of hatred. And I have to thank. Uh, and my love to my wife, oh, Helen. Sorry. Uh, and because we have I'm a... I'm sorry. A I just... Uh, I didn't mean to do it. to say uh, uh, Shadow. Read this beautiful Either way, it's still accurate, but still, the, uh, I'm sorry. Um, the invention of Hugo I Cabaret, enjoyed it up until we got to that you, you know, final where why don't you make a film revealed the message and I was like... So I'm did. sorry. I, I don't have this much Francesca. time for that. It hits you over the head with that message the whole time. It doesn't take anything away from the movie. To me, it doesn't. They're trying to save the point. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and, uh, yeah. and uh, Chris Donnelly. Yeah. And, the, and then there's the whole don't get fat, work out, don't be lazy. I mean, I get that, but I just, I think you can work. I think it was a common in my laziness. I thought that was off. Helen McCrory. Chris Lee, I feel like that should um, happen now. John Logan script, and of course, um, uh, my Chris Emma Tell and Jerome, Jordan Kakangas, and my great assistant director, awesome. Chris Surgent, um, Bob Richardson's beautiful cinematography, particularly in 3D, Dante Peretti's sets, oh my God, um, Mark Shore's beautiful music, your film is good makers, wonderful editing, <laughs> and, well, it's and they're not going to cut him off either. Great visual effects. He's and like, Ellen see Lewis you soon, You don't come off unless um, you want to work again. Uh, thank you, thank you all so much. And thank you so much. <laughs> That is fucking weird. Look at all the fun. Oh. Well, of course he's going to be getting drunk. Moving on. Yeah, he's drinking beer out of the white glass. I can't wait to introduce oh, I, our next presenter. Oh, I thought I was going to go and go, I would be trashed at this so point. So you can see why I'm excited. Hmm. I love their work. For many and who'll be years, your sitting and I buddy? I just got to talk to them for the first time, so I'm made up. Um, they're addicted to gorgeous be? specimens. <laughs> they're extremely talented oh. and probably very interesting. Antonio sure, Banderas. Please welcome Salma Hayek and Antonio Banderas. You know what? Banderas. When he did uh, Philadelphia, I didn't even realize that was him. Hi. Let me answer to Ricky. That's how young he was Ricky, at the time he did fill it off. He was Tom Hanks' lover. In these Tom Hanks' lover. Well, 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 the other two nominees have remained examples of innovative and fresh television. Is that the show? Here are the nominees. Enlightened. Fuck that. Episodes. Oh. Hell yeah. Glee. Walking Dead. No, girl. Comedy or musical? Modern really? Walking Dead? Walking Dead's pretty fun. Walking Dead's not New over. Girl. I gotta admit, if it, I mean... I mean, I admit, they might have rated it yeah. if it had and used its full season up, but to? it's still, like, stopped no, and it was like, oh, so we really can't judge you or anything. No, 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 see, every TV show has a hiatus. Yeah, yeah but it's between seasons. What? Some TV shows go middle season. A few of my TV shows were in the hiatus for a while, though. Yeah, I'm still waiting for Secret Saturday. No, I saw Secret, a Secret Saturday a DVD in the Far Below store. <laughs> what? <laughs> you mean, why did all this happen? Why does this happen to all the shows I love? Buena noche. It's stuff I don't love, Gracias, or don't like, Antonio. but think it's good, Gracias, he's going. 
al ser esto un premio internacional lo vamos a recibir en dos idiomas I think this stuff I don't like is good I just don't like it lo vamos a recibir en dos idiomas this is so this is so freaking annoying for tonight we accept in two languages el nombre de modern family le damos las gracias a los you don't like Zoe de Chanel no the one talking Who's so talking? Because you know I have no TV. Is that that uh? Oh, what's it name? She was real annoying. Uh, thank you to the modern family writers who are so funny and so sexy. All the idiot movies were there. I see all the movies. I see it for free. Why do you see everything when you watch my line? No, I go to the advanced screenings. You get into everything. I work hard at it. Yep, it is like a They may look pasty and nervous and out of shape, but they're the greatest lovers I've ever had. Steve got tickets for the gray. You did, dude? Steve, can I go with you? It's on Wednesday. Hey, you want to take it to the gray? Hold on a second. Up next, Mark Wahlberg. Danny left. Who did you sell? Really? I'm just saying. Yeah. The Golden Globe on NBC. Yeah. Uh, Silver Surfer. Yeah. Where do you live? Philly. Oh. Checked your photo yesterday. I thought. Now that I'm working, that kind of stuff. You know, see, Liam Neeson beat some, some, nope. uh, some wolf's ass. I don't see one for ones that are available. Hold on, chill. I'm chill. Just, just relax. Advanced screening. Let me see if there's still any left first. If I give you this link. What if everything will be smiling? I just found a great motivational poster. The awkward moment when Neville becomes. Uh, too late, dude. They're all gone. Well, I'm gonna. Steve, do you have a plus one already? Yep. Oh. <laughs> you want to go? I do want to go. Uh, I was asking if you already had someone to go with. No, no, no I don't have someone going. Oh, okay, cool. I definitely want to go see that. Okay. Make sure he buys the popcorn, Steve. Why? Because he shouldn't just go just to go make him buy some popcorn. Brought him to screenings with me. Thank you very much. Make sure he get the big refillable bucket, you know? And, and I also helped him skip the entire line in Tintin. How, how did you do that? I got there at 8 o'clock. Oh, so he got used there in, in the front of the line. Yep. I showed up after the movie started. I didn't have to stay in line. That's because that was in cause. I mean, your seats would not have been good if it weren't for me. And Moxie was late. All the good seats are always taken by press. There's never any really good seats. But they oh shit, seats. we had amazing seats for 1010. That thing was pretty good because usually me and Steve were in like the neck hurting area. We're in the front front seats. That was the worst. We had pretty good seats for Marcy May Marlene. Oh yeah, yeah, that's... that's we're talking on. about a bullshit movie. That I like that movie. Yeah, that I movie like was both. You know, the, the director was there and the actors was there, right? And when the movie was over, you never saw such a mass exodus for the for the door when they was trying to get people to stay for a Q and A. And the guy goes, "Wasn't well, that good?" And my friend sat it out. Hell no. <laughs> For the record, I pushed too much. Really never touch another man's butt. Marcy, Mar I mean, Marlene, Marcy, May. Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene. Yeah. Exactly. So many freaking maids, you can't keep it straight. The mm -hmm. That's the one with the all the shows. Yeah. Yes. It's really good. I never saw it. 
By the way, have you guys seen this powerful film? Yes. Against yes. A sweeping what canvas the fuck? Yes. Yes, it was good. The story of I a remarkable friendship between a horse I named Joey horrible, but I and a young man named Albert, Albert during, the during the first world war. I did not get it. Because we follow the extraordinary uh, journey. I don't feel like this. I have not sport. seen Super and yet. The what I'm told is like that's what Super, Super 8 should have been. No, no, come on. No. Super 8 is two movies. This movies. Is you can't compare the. Yeah. I love yeah. Super 8 and I love I'm Detective I'm Block. I've never seen it all the time. I like Super 8. I'm going to turn him to you. It was a better movie. You know? But um, I don't get that hype about a type of luck at all. Even my friend who was like, oh, you got a rocket. He's like, what the hell are you having me with a rocket? You should stop. I like the face that Steven Spielberg makes when he watches his own stuff. He's like, hmm, this is very good. Yeah, it's something appeared in the space George Lucas makes when he watches his own stuff. Like, oh. Yeah. Oh, man, wait, can I make more money of this? I want to take every film, film reel Lucas has ever made and hang him from it. Do you He's only made three or nominees. four films. Jean Dujardin. Yeah, and then he raped all of them. Hey, don't forget Red Tails. Don't forget Red Tails. You need to be in the guard. Ah. Uh, oh, and Wilson is doing it. They would not exist if they weren't for him. Owen Wilson, Midnight in Paris. Yeah, mm. Marky Mark. Ryan Gosling, Crazy Stupid Love. Uh, I can't read. <laughs> I, I, I want to see how he, what he sounds Golden like. Goes to you watch the whole the film and he doesn't talk. So what does he sound like? Ooh. This guy that, that was one best actor for the audience. Oh, I don't know. He's European, right? Yeah, French. So he probably sounds like a French guy. He's going to come on stage and sound like this. I heard that was Thank really you. Oh, see, the thing was, like, he he okay. was a great star, uh, solid film, and then he started uh, doing talkies, and he couldn't uh, you the make the transition. And like the whole time you're uh, wondering why, until the end you hear him talk and he sound like a clown. Don't know. <laughs> when I was starting out, and they jumped Mark. to me, you were going to do movies. Wasn't that the big joke of Groucho Marx that he had with Too voice? expressive, too big. But Groucho Marx wasn't like a silent actor that became a, um, my fault, my eyebrows, you know, tried, couldn't make the transition. He was always into talking to films, he was a comedian. Always no, I'm, I'm sorry, not Groucho Marx. To fight for my dreams. So I want to thank him for Wasn't letting that me Whoa, Joseph Gordon-Levitt looks like he's gonna cry. Thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Michel Azadevicius, for having written this incredible role for me. Isn't that now how he normally looks? Thank you, my friend. Even in the yeah. Batman trailers, he's like, working with you. Oh, is he about to cry? Is he about to die? I thank can't you, tell. Thank you, Thomas Courage, crazy he, Thomas he, Trondman, uh, my position. His eyes were all teared up. Thank you, Bob mm. and Harvey. And our great ensemble, James, John, Penelope, Missy, Malcolm, and my wonderful screen partner, Bernice. And of course, thank you to my beautiful and talented wife. And as Douglas Fairbanks would say, thank you, merci. Whoa, what's the name of that actress who just had terrible hair? Did anyone just see that? Uh, which one? Oh, what's her name? I'm trying oh, to... you're talking about Tilda Swinton? Is that her name? I thought it was something more familiar. She was, she, she was thin and had the gray on? Yes. Yeah, that was Tilda Swinton. <sighs> terrible hair. <sighs> I don't find her cute at all. Definitely not.
Uh, that would be uh, well with Julian. Usually, normally it's been him. No. Probably was me. Okay. Oh no, it's back. Yeah, it's because no. I unmuted my no, I unmuted my computer. Oh, I'm drinking too much soda. Did you drink soda? I love soda. You have a problem. I do. Soda is one of those things I'm really glad I cut out of my diet. I need help. I, I need, like, real support. Dude, just stop drinking it. Just drink just juice. Cold turkey. Just don't ever drink soda. I cannot go cold turkey with some soda. I, I didn't drink soda all last year. Only I drank, um... A Coca Cola when I was working a job at the airport for the caffeine, and that's it. I bought uh, five 12 packs because it was a can can sale. Hey. Try, try weaning yourself down. So drink soda only once a week. Yeah, that's easy for you to say. Well, only drink soda on the weekend. I'm drinking soda. Well, I, I I haven't been taking soda to the movie, so I'm working on it. And and you can't buy like a big twelve liter thing and just drink it all day. A big what? Can't buy like a big liter size soda and drink it all day. No, I don't. I don't buy like big gulps and stuff like that. No, but you'll buy the big twelve liter stuff and just. Nurse it all day. Buy a 12 liter. A 2 liter. A 2 liter? Yes. I can drink that in one night. What are you talking about all day? I mean, stick to can size. I don't know how many. The Super Bowl is on Monday? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, they're doing it on Monday this year? Mm hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do one on Monday. Super Bowl. It's in, I thought it was in Super Bowl. What? Why? Isn't it a Super Bowl playoff? Are you just talking about the playoffs? Are they over? Much better. No. no. Not over. Oh, they do.